Welcome to Razorback Seats 3D. We encourage you to log in and familiarize yourself with the site prior to your designated selection time. The selection process begins May 1st, 2015. Selection times are assigned to customers every few minutes based on Razorback Foundation priority point rank within your membership classification. To log in, please enter your account number and PIN. Now that you're logged in, you'll begin at the instructions page. You'll find your account information located on the left side of the page, including your name, account number, specific date and selection time, as well as your seats from last season. Navigational tabs are made available as you progress through the process. These navigational tabs can be used to go back and forth between the instructions and seat selection pages. The selection process is very straightforward and simple. Please read this information before continuing. You will need to watch the instructional video before your first login. When you are ready to view available inventory, please click here. You are now looking at an overhead view of Razorback Stadium, color-coded by availability. The color key explains the coloring, with green sections having at least one string of consecutive seats. Yellow indicates there are only single seats available in the subsection, and red areas indicate all seats are already assigned and unavailable. The map defaults to the upper level or 500 level view. If you are interested in lower level seating, then you can click on the 100 level view, here. In some cases, this is necessary to see the upper rows of a section. The same applies to club level, red zone, and pig heaven seating. To view your current seat location, click on the magnifying glass icon here. Or to see the seat view, click on the camera icon here. When your selection period begins, the seats will become available to select. When you make a selection, it will automatically populate in the shopping cart. Now I'll show you how to use the overhead map to view availability and select your seats. When you roll over a section, detailed information will appear in the floating window, including the section number, row breaks, minimum membership level required for those seats, and any other special notations such as limited sight lines or limited views of the video board. Click on the section you would like to select a seat from. Available seats are shown with green dots. If you do not see any availability that interests you, you may click for the section to the right or left by clicking here or here, or return to the overhead view by clicking on the back tab here. For the view from a specific subsection, mouse over the desired seats and click on the Seat View button here. To return to the availability within the section, click on Back to Section. When you move your mouse over the individual seat identifying dots, you can see detailed seat information located in the floating window. Green dots are available for selection. The red dots have been previously selected or unavailable. If you see a purple dot, this is identifying that someone else has just selected these, and they are on hold until the individual has submitted their selection. When you make a selection, the dots will turn blue, and the seats will be placed in your cart, here. When you add your first seat to your cart, a notice will appear to remind you that your selection has been added to your cart, and that your 30-minute timer has begun. As you add your other seats, you will see the dots change in color to blue, and the selections entering your cart. If you click on the wrong seat, or you wish to make a change, you may delete seats from your cart by clicking on the red X next to the selection, or by simply clicking on the dot. Make sure that you do not delete a seat unless you're sure you don't want it, as it will become immediately available to others. Once you have made your selections, finalize your order by clicking on the Continue button here. This will take you to War Memorial Stadium in Little Rock where you will follow the same procedure to select, add, or adjust seats. After you submit your selections, you will be taken to a review page. Here, you will review the seat selections you just made, as well as any additional payments due for season tickets and or changes to your Razorback Foundation membership level. You will also be able to remove any seats from last season by unchecking the individual boxes located here. 
When you are ready to move forward, click the Approve Selection button here. The Final Confirmation page will display any seats you will be deleting from your account and your new seat selections. To finalize your selections, click on the Confirm Seats button here. If you selected additional and or higher price tickets, you will be redirected to your e-ticket account to make a payment. You will be invoiced by the Razorback Foundation if you change membership levels. Please do not close the page or click the back button on your browser while you are being redirected. This usually takes up to a minute, depending on your browser's speed. Once you confirm your selections, you will be sent an email confirmation and directed to the invoice page. Click on the printer icon to print a copy for your records. Now your process is complete. You may either return to your instructions page or log out. If you log back into the system, you will be able to view availability. However, you will not be able to change your seats. If you have any further questions or would like to make a change to your account, please call 479-443-9000. A new customer will enter the system every few minutes. If you see activity in the system during your selection period, it is another customer with an earlier selection time that has not completed their selections. Please take time to log into the site and navigate around before your selection time begins to familiarize yourself with its operation. Enjoy the interactive experience, and go Hogs!